Welcome everyone. My name is John Prince, and I'll be your guide today through the virtual orientation for our internet application and web development fundamentals program. Just to introduce myself well, again, I'm John Prince. Uh, I'm a professor at the college and uh, I'll be the one guiding you through uh, this program and uh, giving you some information about uh, the courses that uh, you'll be taking and uh, some information about the, the college campus and uh, what to expect from our program. All right, so get going with a slide presentation I have for you. So again, my name is John Prince. Uh, I've been with the college since 2015. Uh, I work in the uh, web design development program as well as uh, the internet applications and web development fundamentals program. I've been working in the tech industry for over 20 years, so I have a lot of experience to bring. Uh, definitely utilize your professor's knowledge and expertise to, to help you. Uh, this is a one-year program. It's an Ontario College Certificate Program. Uh, the address to our program uh, site is uh, is listed on the on the slide here. Um, you can just do a Google search for uh, Conestoga College Internet Applications and Web Development Fundamentals, and uh, you'll find all the information you need there. So just to give you kind of a, a rough idea, uh, so, so our description has a couple key pieces I just wanted to highlight here. So, so this is an ever-changing digital landscape. Um, we do need uh, experienced individuals capable of adapting to a variety of technical needs and challenges. And, and, and that's the key is, is adapting because things are ever-changing in this industry. Uh, so through the creation of various projects, uh, you develop your design capabilities through a structured hands-on approach. And, and that's the key here, it's the hands-on approach. Um, as your professors guide you through the various content, um, you'll be uh, programming and, and coding along with them so that, uh, so that you're getting the, the benefit of, of what it is they're doing on the, on the spot. So if you have questions, that's the time to do it and ask. Um, yeah, so you will be creating several websites uh, throughout the, the, the program time. Um, you'll be doing uh, different stages of development as far as layout, wireframing, and prototyping, and looking at industry best practices and, and creating sites that are accessible for everyone. So just to walk you through some of the, uh, the courses that you'll see, uh, web graphics and prototyping, I'll uh, talk about that one in a little bit, a bit more. Uh, project management. So, just to give you an idea on on how a project runs, uh, all, app, all most web projects are done in a team situation. Uh, so, so, knowing how to work with that team efficiently will will benefit your future. Uh, website design. So, this is HTML and CSS knowledge. Front end programming. This is where you learn a little bit of JavaScript. Design analysis. This is where uh, you'll you'll look at design considerations as far as using white space effectively. So making sure things are distanced well um, and uh, how to position buttons, uh, sizing for buttons and images and, and other content that you'll have on your site. Uh, there'll, there'll be a, a project that will span the entire uh, semester, um, accumulating you to uh, one final uh, design project at the end of semester one which will lead you into semester two with a career launch, uh, some information on, on getting a career in this, uh, in this field, uh, database design. So you'll be learning some uh, SQL, SQL programming uh, using uh, MySQL or MariaDB, uh, some backend programming. So a little introduction to backend programming. Uh, there's a lot to it, but uh, we'll, we'll start you off with a little bit of PHP knowledge. Uh, the PHP then can lead you to the web content management system, which uh, you'll be learning about WordPress and WordPress is based on PHP. So uh, WordPress is a, is kind of a out of the box uh, website. Uh, although with some PHP knowledge, you can uh, greatly customize and expand the capabilities of that, uh, of that application. That'll uh, lead you to the capstone, which is a, uh, taking a project that accumulates all the knowledge from the first uh, semester and the second semester and creating a, uh, an overall project to, uh, to show off to employers and, uh, and your friends and family. So what is it that you'll be doing? So like I said, uh, you'll be starting with some wireframing and prototyping. Uh, so I like to say, you know, sketch out your ideas on a, 
on a napkin. Uh, that's the best place to start and then uh, bring it into uh, an application or, or other prototyping um, uh, website. There's a lot of online tools to help you with this, uh, but just to give you an idea how the website will look. Um, this isn't the fully functional version of it, uh, but this is something you can definitely um, show off to uh, potential clients in that as to how the designs are coming along. Uh, you'll be learning some HTML and CSS. So here's a snippet of HTML and the output, which uh, turns out to be a reservation request page. Some JavaScript. So the ES6 uh, 2015 standard is what we'll be uh, what we'll be, what we'll be learning. Uh, as you can see over on the side here, we've got a, a snippet of JavaScript, and uh, that will create a task list for us to use. Uh, again, basic JavaScript leading to more interactive elements on your on your websites. Looking at PHP and and, uh, and creating some simple shopping carts. Uh, so again, from a purchase or a a product page uh, to your checkout, filling in your shipping details, all the way through to uh, the confirmation of your order. And there's more. Uh, one of the benefits of, of this program is, th is the ability for you to explore your creativity and, uh, and find what, uh, where, where you want to lead as a web developer. So we give you the opportunity to kind of explore those things yourself. Give you a little bit of a virtual tour of the Waterloo campus. So I, I'm going to show you a couple of sites or a couple of, uh, uh, locations. Um, if you'd like to see more, uh, you can go to uh, conestogac.on.ca, click the visit in the upper right, and then uh, scroll down to select the view virtual tour. So on campus at the Waterloo campus, uh, we do have open computer labs. Um, the Waterloo campus is, a, is a fairly new. It's only a few years old. Um, and the computer labs are also brand new. So lots of good uh, brand new equipment to use and furniture uh, for you to be comfortable in. This is a BYOD program, so you'll need to bring your own device. Um, we'll talk a bit about uh, requirements in a, in a moment. Uh, but as you can see, we have uh, lots of open space and uh, and plugs for you to plug your stuff into. There is a cafeteria and study areas within the, the Waterloo campus, uh, very spacious and, and brand new again. And as well, there's the Bloom restaurant on the Waterloo campus, which is a student run um, licensed restaurant. Uh, great stuff, fantastic food, and all prepared by um, students in the culinary uh, programs. So like I said, this is a BYOD or bring your own device uh, program. Uh, so there's a, a link here uh, that you can uh, that you can type in or select. And uh, this will take you to um, a listing of programs that are running with the BYOD. Uh, you'll find our program under uh, the workforce development and internet applications and web development fundamentals. So we are listed as a better model. So that's a uh, uh, good, better, best is the, the levels that we suggest. Uh, so the better model um, should have a, a laptop. It should be a laptop. Uh, I would hate for you to bring a desktop um, and, and do have that ready for the, the first day. Uh, just a couple key points. Uh, I, I would recommend at least an Intel i5. You could get away with an i3. Uh, I would recommend an i5, at least eight gigabytes of memory. Uh, webcam will be essential and uh, some hard drive space. I would recommend 256 or, or higher. So some common questions uh, in the program. Uh, what are some of the things to investigate before you start? Well, I would download Visual Studio Code, which is a free uh, application from Microsoft. Uh, it's the IDE that we'll be using uh, mostly in class. So you can use other ones, but uh, we'll be using uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can also uh, use some free online tutorials to get a head start uh, into HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, PHP. That'll help you out. And uh, they're all also free online tutorials to help you. So Solo, Solo Learn is a, is a great little application for your phone, uh, Code Academy, and LinkedIn Learning, which uh, you'll get a free access uh, once, uh, once you're accepted into the college. So what types of jobs can I look forward to? 
graduates will have the skills necessary to find employment as a WordPress developer, uh, graphic or web designer, or an entry junior level web developer. Uh, the Job Bank of uh, the Government of Canada has a, a great is a great place to kind of start. Uh, I'd also suggest looking at Indeed. Um, and, and don't just look for web companies. Uh, every, every industry needs someone uh, to help them with their online presence nowadays. And I would recommend some key search, uh, keyword searches uh, such as this to kind of get you started. All right. Well, thank you everyone for, uh, for coming out. Uh, if you'd like some more information, uh, you can reach out to uh, Kara Schlievert, which is the, uh, she's kind of the program uh, manager for, uh, for this particular course. Uh, her email address is on the screen there. Um, and like I said, I, you know, welcome to Conestoga. I, I hope you enjoy your time here and uh, thank you again for listening.